this weekend we meet Jesus uh, as he enters a home in Capernaum and he asks the disciples, hey, what were you all talking about on the way over here? I, I heard some mumblings behind me. And they admit to Jesus, like, you know, they were all kind of argued about who among themselves was the greatest, like who is the closest to Jesus, who is like, who is, who is the one among the 12? And that conversation is so typical, not only among the disciples, but among you and me. We're always in competition with one another for who is the best, who is the strongest, who is the smartest, who is the most successful. And the, the standards with which we use to measure each other are the standards of this world and the competitive nature within each one of us, which is driven many times by our own insecurities and our own sense of self-worth. I hope that, that you, as you look out at the world and all of those decisions that you and I are gonna be asked to make over the next couple of months in so many different ways, including you know the election of a new president, that you ask yourself that same question about, about yourself and about those for whom you have allegiance. Who is the greatest among us? And remember this, Jesus reaches down and picks up a child in this home in Capernaum, and he sets that child on his lap. And he says, whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. God. The greatest among us are the ones who serve in this world on bended knee, who look to one another with respect, with honor, with dignity, not with overpowering someone, but with lifting someone up from the bottom. In Jesus's world, that is the best. May you and I be followers of Jesus. And may we spend more time on our knees than standing on our tiptoes saying, hey, I'm the best. See you Sunday.